a lot of things. Can I just ask you? Uh, do you say it, it would, would uh, I mean, matter the life that we're living on Earth now compared to, I mean, when we are dead? Uh, would you say that it would give us any benefit to live our life in, in, in love, in harmony, compared to not living it in harmony with love uh, after you are dead? It, it's a huge difference. Yeah. If you live your life in harmony on earth with love, yeah. there is a huge difference between what, you, what will happen to you after you pass yeah. compared to if you live your life in disharmony with love on earth, there'll be some very, very hard conditions when you pass. And this is because every time we get out of harmony with love, we actually create a different environment. So if you think about the earth environment we've created now to collectively, if you think you are also, right at this moment, creating your own environment in the spirit world, right now. And your own environment in the spirit world will mirror exactly every single feeling you have within you, right now. So if you have some dark feelings in yourself, some angry feelings within yourself, the environment will mirror those feelings. When I say the environment will mirror it, it will be a physical creation and also a location in the spirit world that mirrors completely your own current development. Now, for the majority of people who pass over in the spirit world, they pass over into the bottom half of the first dimension of the spirit world, which the spirits in the higher locations call the hells. The hells. H-E-L-L-S. Hells. <laughs> they call it the hells because it ain't too pleasant. Do you understand? Not very pleasant locations to live, but they are a complete loving reflection of the soul at that location. Now, there are literally billions and billions of people still in that location in the spirit world, in the hells. Billions. And the majority of people who pass from the earth pass into that location. It matters not what religion, it doesn't matter what faith you have, what, what form. What matters is your development in love. That's the only thing that matters. So if you're, you can think you're developed in love, and there are many people who think they're developed in love who finish up passing in the hills because they are not developed in love. Right? And this is the problem that we face on earth, is that we are often influenced by the people in the hills quite substantially, but they are people who have yet to discover the truth about the whole spirit world they only have a very fixed belief system about their particular location. They've never been anywhere else. It's a bit like, how many of you have ever been to Australia? How many? Right. Now, put your hands down, the ones who live in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, where in Australia did you visit? Do you mind? Melbourne and Sydney. Melbourne and Sydney. So if I talk to you about Cairns, you've never been there. No. Right? Um, very different climate to Melbourne and Sydney. Like Melbourne to us is cold. I have heard a lot about it because my son was there for five years studying and he's married to an Australian girl. So right, so you have some knowledge of some it. Some knowledge. Okay, but never been there. And this is the problem. If you've never been somewhere, how do you know what's there? Now, I have been in there. I have been there because I've visited many people there. And I'm telling you, it is not nice but it is a complete reflection of the person's soul condition, what they have personally created. Yes? 